Alright, so recently something has come up in the gaming community that it kind of caught my attention. It's been talked about quite a bit, you know, Keemstar has been talking about it, Nadeshot has been, and a few others. And in this video, I'm basically just going to go on like a mini rant about it, and then also I'm going to talk to you about something else that's been going on. Now what I'm going to be ranting about is the term YouTube sellout. And I specifically chose to wear this hat because I'm sponsored by G Fuel, and, and people tend to freak out about sponsorships. Now this really caught my attention just a few weeks back when... Nadechad did something with Red Bull because, as a lot of you probably know, he's been sponsored by Red Bull for a while now. And they send him a bunch of Red Bull, I'm sure they, there's a salary in there, and it's it's a it's a big sponsorship deal. And it's not like he doesn't like Red Bull, he loves it, you can tell. It's that you wouldn't get a big sponsorship deal with a company that you don't enjoy their product from. So, he, he loves Red Bull, and that's why he chose to do the deal and promote it. And of course, people still attack him with saying stuff like, oh, you're a sellout, Nadechad, you're a sellout. It, it, he's not, he's not at all. If you go by that logic, then basically every sports player, sports athlete, professional sports athlete is a sellout because they have sponsorships and stuff like that that they promote. It's just, it's that's the best analogy that you can possibly give, and people give this analogy quite a bit. It's literally like a sports athlete, like we're, we're comparing ourselves to sports athletes and we have sponsorships and stuff like that, but no one ever calls the sports athletes uh, sellouts because I, I don't know why. I, I don't know why at all, honestly. We're literally in the same boat. You know, they're, they're in the entertainment business, and we're in the entertainment business. They have sponsorships, we have sponsorships, but we're the sellouts. Now, I personally haven't been called a sellout, but a lot of other people have, and it's just, it's just dumb. It, ooh, it makes me, it makes me mad. And that's the only reason why I'm making this video, it's because I feel strongly about this topic. And another point that has been brought up many times, if they are like making money for promoting another product, and they're doing well, and you like watch the YouTuber a lot, and you enjoy their content, why shouldn't you be happy for them? Like it's it's a great thing that your that your favorite YouTubers are making good money doing what they love and at the same time making content that you love. Doesn't it just seem like just seems right? I mean seriously, if PewDiePie got like I don't know, like a, all right, let's say just a crazy number, like a 50 or 100 million dollar deal with some company and all they did was like promote their stuff in each of their videos, you know, like talk about them and just do a bunch of stuff with the company. Wouldn't you be happy for him? That would be insane. Now I give PewDiePie as an example because he'd be the person that could probably do that. I mean, he's huge. PewDiePie is just huge. Now the only time I've ever been like close to being called a sellout was when I did my Assassin's Creed thing. You know, I flew out to, they flew me out to San Francisco to play the new game and it was a sponsored thing. You know, I, I didn't pay for my flight, I didn't pay for my hotel and stuff like that. And it was like a paid type thing. And I was supposed to edit and make a video or two for the game and upload it to my channel. And as soon as people hear the word sponsored when I talk about like I have to say that it's a sponsored video, it's actually like a required law. Um, I say it's sponsored and then the video gets more dislikes than other videos just because of that. It's just, I, I don't I don't understand. What's the what's the logic behind that? Speaking of logic, congrats logic on getting married. Uh, Tommy was at the wedding actually and it was, I don't know, it's pretty cool. He kept it, he kept it very secret that he like even had a girlfriend. I was I was shocked when I was even told that he had a girlfriend and then he got married and it was pretty awesome, but anyways, congrats. But anyways, back to the topic. So, yeah, the Assassin's Creed thing was a really cool experience. It was amazing. Nothing like I had ever done before because, you know, we actually went to the studios of the creators of the game and got to play it with a bunch of other awesome YouTubers and it was super fun. And still, people got a little bit frustrated with it because it was a paid thing for me to do. But it's only, it was a very small amount of people that like got a little frustrated with it. So the rest of you, I love you guys and thank you for supporting me. And honestly, since this is such a like a touchy subject, maybe this video will get more dislikes, maybe it'll get more likes, I'm not sure, but it's, I don't, I don't really care because this is a topic that not many people have talked about and I feel like it needs to be talked about because we need to just get a grip on the whole situation with sponsorships. If sponsorships weren't a thing, your favorite companies probably wouldn't be known by anyone because obviously you need exposure from other people, from people in the industry that your product is geared towards, like G Fuel, like this hat. So, if we didn't promote them, I'm not saying they wouldn't be a big company, but not nearly as many people would be aware of what the company makes, what it does, and everything. Same goes for Scuff Gaming, Control Freak, and th well, those are the three companies that I promote. And you know I love the companies because I use the products from each of their companies almost every day. Now I think that's all I have to say on the whole YouTube sellout part. You just gotta be careful with who you think is a sellout and who you don't think is a sellout. Now though, we're gonna talk about another thing which is just me with my whole YouTube channel because I've kind of been slacking, I'm miss missing a few days here and there. And that's because, you know, I'm still in high school. I'm still with all my friends, all my high school friends, 
and we like to go out and have fun, do new things. Like, I went to Sky Zone last weekend, we went to, I don't know, just doing a bunch of new things, and it sometimes takes away from time from making videos on my YouTube channel, and it, it's frustrating, but at the same time, like, I have to cherish these moments in high school when all my friends are here together, because this is my last year, and I hope you understand with me missing a few days. Now, it's not like I'm missing a ton of days, I'm missing probably one day a week. It's like, I'm still uploading probably, on average, six out of the seven days of the week. Which really, it, it's good. I mean, you see other YouTubers uploading two to three times a week, and it's, well, the, they have different styles of channels, but still, it's, it's still a lot of work for me to do this. Especially on top of school work, which I don't do a lot of homework anyways, but anyways, senior slide. And I'm out with friends all the time. It really is hard people, and I'm, I'm confident that once high school's done, and once the summer's over, I'm going, to, like, I'm going to maybe take a few classes here and there, that's like my plan right now, and then still do YouTube basically full time, and I'm gonna have so much time because my friends are gonna be at college, so I'm not gonna have a bunch of time to hang out with them, and I'm just gonna focus on my YouTube channel so much. Now I'm 100% confident that if I were in that position right now, let's say after next summer since I'm graduating, if that was right now, I would be working so much harder, I'd probably have a second channel for different games and stuff like that, and I would just, oh, I would focus so much on it, so much of my time would be w working on videos. And I want you guys to know that, that, that's my plan, I'm going to be working so hard once the summer's over and in the summer and it's just gonna be so fun like the summer videos are my favorite things to film like since my friend Danny has jet skis we're gonna I want to I want to film stuff on jet skis since I'll, I'll have the GoPro I'll probably have to get a floaty device with it because if you didn't see my bridge jumping video I actually dropped it in the ocean or not the ocean why did I just say the ocean I live in Minnesota I dropped it in the lake when I hit like I flipped over the bridge landed perfectly like right on my feet and then I I don't know how but I dropped the GoPro, the GoPro stick that it was on and it sank to the bottom but we ended up getting it but I need to get a floaty for that for if we do like do jet skiing videos and stuff like that and yes I'm still probably gonna be missing a few days here and there but it's it's no big deal I, I just I'm super busy when I like especially weekends especially weekends I'm always with my friends not really too much time at home to make videos I could stock up on like Thursday nights and try to make like a few videos for the weekend or otherwise we'll just I don't know it's 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 difficult though you gotta you gotta come you gotta understand where I'm coming from but anyways I think that's it for today's video drop a like if you guys enjoyed hopefully this helped you with the whole understanding it just got really bright by the way it's like look at that oh there's curtains right here and it's, the Sun keeps like going down and going up but anyways hopefully this helped you with the whole sellout thing and and also with what's been going on with my YouTube channel when I'm like missing a few days here and there maybe like two days a week even sometimes but anyways I love you guys, and thank you all so much for sticking around with me. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe here if you are new, and as always, I hope you're all having a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.